What's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. My mom will go find something delicious for you to eat. You'll wake up once you've put something yummy in your tummy. Of course, just wait here for Paimon. <laughs> it's me. Mm -hmm. You may blame me for being a bit too self-indulgent. I was thinking about talking with you, and the next thing I knew, I had made a connection with you. The connection between us is amazing. It's like Flora and the fence it grows upon. I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. Although you've already helped me with a lot, there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. Please say thank you to everyone for me. Oh, is it not convenient for you to do that for me? But if I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and stiff, won't they? What if I end up scaring them and ruining this wonderful feast? That'd be the last thing I want. Hmm, let me think about it. Okay. Yes, I have. You said I should go thank everyone as myself, right? So... I've decided to borrow your body for the time being. Please don't blame me. The floor also climbs up to the fence to get closer to the sky. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. Is this also a part of the feast? No, no, of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? Hello, Niu. You know who I am? Yes. I already know every one of you. Niu, I'll hate them. Sino, Dia. Paimon, and Dunyarzad. Lesser... Lord Kusanali? I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body so that I could thank all of you in person. Thank you so much for rescuing me, even if that meant placing your own safety in peril and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia, the Sages, the Doctor, the Balladier, and even the entirety of Sumeru. Without you, Without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation. Had you not helped me to resolve the crisis, not only I, but Sumeru and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. I'm quite fond of this name. It not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. Please, Allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lesser Lord Kusanelli, you... You have done so much for Sumeru, and I, I... I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. You don't have to do this. Ten years odd. The suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. 
This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with us. I... I'm honored to have been able to take part in this plan. I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Did you rest well? After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. Hmm. That just means you still have a lot to learn from Master Paimon, the Sage of Gluttony. All right, since you're awake now, should we go and have a chat with Nahida? She should be in the academia right about now. If you have any questions, now's your chance to ask. 